in transistor biasing we will discuss today biasing with feedback resistor this is the circuit diagram of biasing with feedback resistor using npn transistor here one end of the resistor rb is connected to the base and the other end to the collector here the required zero signal base current is determined by the collector base voltage vcb here collector base junction is reverse bias so it exhibit high resistance so necessary base current available from collector to base through resistor rb the base current ib flows through rb as vcb forward biases the base emitter junction now circuit analysis first we determine the value of rb in the input section of the circuit for this loop using kirchhoff's law we can write vcc equal to ib plus ic into rc plus ib rb plus vbe say equation 1 since ib is very very less than ic and therefore we take here ib plus ic which is equivalent to ic and therefore we can write this equation as vcc equal to ic rc plus ib rb plus vbe now if we make rb as the subject of the formula then this equation can be rewrite as rb equal to vcc minus vbe minus ic rc upon ib since ic equal to beta ib and therefore rb equal to vcc minus vbe minus beta ib rc upon ib say equation 2 so using this formula we can calculate rb rb can be also calculated by another method as if you consider this transistor around it the voltage distribution is given like vce equal to vcb plus vbe therefore vcb equal to vce minus vbe and therefore we can write rb equal to vcb upon ib and that is vce minus vbe upon ib so this is the another formula for rb so hence rb can be determined either by this or by this equation let's see how stability is attained if the collector current tends to increase due to an increase in temperature or the transistor has been replaced by one with a higher beta as a result voltage drop across rc increases that's why collector emitter voltage vce decreases and which will reduce the base current ib this in turn will reduce ic to original value thus the operating point is stabilized in this circuit the collector voltage is used to drive the base resistor and thus introduces feedback which helps to reduce the effect of change of temperature or beta upon the operating point due to this reason this circuit is also called collector feedback bias or voltage feedback bias circuit now q point of the circuit for specification of q point we need ib ic and vce let's we derive this consider input section in which take the loop from plus vcc to rc rb vbe to this minus or grounded vcc by applying kirchhoff's law we can write vcc equal to ib plus ic into rc plus ib rb plus vbe here ib is very very less than ic therefore ib plus ic which is equal to ic and hence we write vcc equal to ic rc plus ib rb plus vbe since ic equal to beta ib so we write here 
this is equal to beta ib into rc plus ib rb plus vbe now from this we take ib common from these two terms therefore we can write vcc equal to ib into beta rc plus rb plus vbe now making ib as a subject of the formula we have ib equal to vcc minus vbe upon beta rc plus rb now consider output section in which take this slope from plus vcc to rc vc to ground that is negative vcc by applying kirchhoff's law for this slope we have vcc equal to ib plus ic into rc plus vce since i be very very less than ic and therefore we take ib plus ic equal to ic and therefore we can write this equation as vcc equal to ic rc plus vce or vce equal to vcc minus ic rc now again ic equal to beta ib and we can write vce equal to vcc minus beta ib into rc now we take value of ib from this equation that's why it becomes vce equal to vcc minus beta rc into ib that is vcc minus vbe upon beta rc plus rb now ic equal to beta ib here again we put the value of ib from this equation and that's why ic equal to beta into vcc minus vbe upon beta rc plus rb hence we obtain ib from this equation vce from this equation and ic from this equation so q point is determined now stability factor in the input section of the circuit we can write equation vcc equal to ib plus ic into rc plus ib rb plus vbe expanding this bracket we have vcc equal to ib rc plus ic rc plus ib rb plus vbe taking ib common from these terms we have vcc equal to ib into rc plus rb plus ic rc plus vbe now make the ib subject of the formula therefore ib equal to vcc minus ic rc minus vbe upon rc plus rb now stability factor is defined as s equal to beta plus 1 upon 1 minus beta into dib by dic now we need here the value of dib upon dic from this equation that's why we differentiating this equation with respect to ic and therefore we get dib by dic equal to minus rc upon rc plus rb putting the value here we get s equal to beta plus 1 upon 1 minus beta into minus rc upon rc plus rb simplifying it we obtained s equal to beta plus 1 into rc plus rb upon rc plus rb plus beta rc it is clear that rc plus rb is less than rc plus rb plus beta rc and it means s is less than beta plus 1 therefore we can say that the thermal stability of this circuit is better than that of fixed bias circuit because in fixed bias circuit s equal to beta plus 1 and here we obtain s is less than beta plus 1 now we look at the advantages and disadvantages of the circuit so here advantages is of two one it is simple method as it required only one resistance rb and second the circuit provides stability of the operating point it means stability is more with compared to the previous one so these are two advantages disadvantages 
the circuit provides a negative feedback which reduces the gain of the amplifier here we connect rb from collector to the base so it is negative feedback and hence gain is reduced so it is one of the disadvantages second the stability factor s is fairly high it is lesser than that of the fixed byte but not very good that's why <laughs>